In September 2002, Alstom led a joint venture along with the French company TSO and the British firm Carillion to build the last section of the Eurostar line between Paris and London. Work began in January 2004. The scope, 40 kilometers of high-speed line, half of which is underground, and two new stations to be equipped, Stratford, which will serve the Olympic Games, and Ebbsfleet. In all, a 200 million euro contract for the installation of the track and the catenaries, but also work trains logistics and overall testing and commissioning. A key feature is the 20 kilometers underground stretch, comprising two successive tunnels, the first under the Thames and the second under the City of London, a real challenge. The big achievement on the, on the last few months was the end of the, the completion of the slab track in tunnel, which was a very big activity in logistics, as far as logistics is concerned. In total, 30,000 cubic metres of concrete were produced to bed the line at a spectacular rate of 350 metres per day, instead of the 250 initially planned, probably a world record. After 18 months of development, the twin block concrete sleepers, comprising an elastomer shock absorbing base plate, were installed. Thanks to this innovation, the Eurostars will run on the most resilient high speed line in the world. In Ebbsfleet, as many as 51 gantries had to be used to support the catenary system over a two kilometer stretch and to span the station's eight parallel lines. A very complex catenary system indeed, which was however completed 10 weeks ahead of time. We got the necessary equipment, uh, the right people. Uh, they worked uh, very fast, uh, but nonetheless very safely uh, and got the job done. The success of the frontline construction was underpinned by carefully planned and well-coordinated logistics. Via a daily notice, drivers and site staff knew exactly what was going on at all times along the 40-kilometre stretch and in the stations. An essential process to ensure safety and efficiency. All the various construction phases have been completed quite early in the programme and uh, so that to uh, allow maximum time for the testing and commissioning and actually uh, more than a year before the uh, end over to the client, we finished the construction. During the last phase of commissioning, Eurostar trains were run at full speed to verify the different systems under maximum operational constraints. Each run was planned in detail and all participants were briefed accordingly every day. The commissioning team monitored the process throughout, ready to deal with any unexpected eventualities. The day-to-day -day main difficulties for a project, on a project such as CTRL, is to make sure we can react in real time to all difficulties that could occur during the testing commissioning activities. Most of the runs had to take place at night because trains needed to start from CTRL Section 1, which is already in commercial service. I enjoy testing, I enjoy the whole, all the work that we do. Then we have to uh, drive the train and put the train for its paces through the, so the equipment gets uh, tested completely. And uh, we do things on testing that we wouldn't do commercially. So uh, there is a big difference and you have to keep your head uh, going to what needs to be done correctly. One key point about this undertaking is that Alstom has done the job usually carried out by operators on such projects. Alstom has been acting as the leader for organizing all the safety aspects, the access to the trace, the management of the logistics, as well as the management of the testing commissioning. We are starting by one Eurostar and then two Eurostar at the same time on the line. And the aim of it is to, uh, to make sure that all the various systems and subsystems are fully integrating with one with the, the other. And that's, uh, for instance, signaling with track and OCS and uh, m in the tunnel, for instance. The next step is the handover to the client so they can turn it into a revenue-earning railway. I've been in the business 30 years. I've seen a hell of a lot of these sort of jobs. Uh, but yes, this has been a good one. It's been enjoyable. Upon completion, London will be two hours and 10 minutes from Paris and passengers will arrive at St Pancras instead of Waterloo. I think we've demonstrated here that we could tackle a, a very complex project and, and bring both the skills of a, a contractor for track and for OCS, which is our basic business, but also the management which goes around, of course, and the, uh, the logistics and the commissioning. 
and that makes quite unique offer really because uh, there are not many companies around the world who can gather all these uh, different skills and put it uh, to, to deliver a complex project. Mm -hmm.